Trey and Monet back to y'all with another video. Today's video is super, super, super exciting as always. Today marks day three of my Shopify series. Day one, we talked all about how to set up the back end of our Shopify store, set it up for success. Day two, we talked all about how to set up shipping and how to ship out orders using Shopify. Day three is finally here. I am so excited about this video. Today's video, we are going to be talking all about how to add size recommendations as far as clothing is concerned to your website. Gone are the days where our customers are confused about what sizes to go through and purchase. We are making things a lot easier for them given this app this shopify app you guys this app is called sizeify and if you guys have not heard of sizeify let me go ahead and push you guys up on game so you want to make sure you stay tuned i am going to be showing you guys this amazing app that is going to not only allow you to decrease the amount of returns but increase the conversion rates as well that you guys are seeing within your stores so let's go ahead and hop right on into the app we're going to hop right on into sizeify and i want to send a warm virtual hug to sizeify for sponsoring today's video all right, all right, all right. So let's go ahead and hop right on in. So reducing returns, increasing your conversion rates, and also increasing your AOV, which is your average order value, is literally every business owner's dream, you guys. In the retail clothing industry, returns usually are a result of things not fitting. Our customers are not over, overly satisfied or satisfied at all with the way things fit on their body due to sizing. So returns usually happen based off of sizing for the most part, right? So we can completely avoid that by using apps like Sizeify. So Sizeify is a AI powered clothing size recommender, you guys. It can be downloaded directly off of the Shopify app store, giving your customers the opportunity to get it right the first time when it comes to sizing, you guys. So gone are the days where our customers can't decide, you know, what size to go through and get something. We all know when shopping with our vendors things can get really really funky as far as sizing some vendor sizes are a little run small some vendor sizes run true to size some vendor sizes run a little bit on the larger side so gone are the days where our customers have to depend directly on a size chart or some type of size guide that is why apps like sizeify are extremely important it's going to cut out the elimination and that uncertainty that our customers may be going through and experiencing it's also going to allow our customers to get a better overall shopping experience and it's going to increase that trust that we have within our customers who do y'all know when it comes to apps and different things like that especially retailers online clothing retailers how many stores do you guys know have recommenders like this that are going to make things a lot easier when it comes to our customers and their overall shopping experience is definitely going to increase that level of trustworthiness between us and our customers as well encourage them a lot more to go through and hit that checkout button especially given that they know that the size that they chose is going to be correct and their items are going to fit as well. So we are going to dive right one into the computer. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how Sizeify works. Give you guys some demonstrations and different things like that. So that way you can go through and add Sizeify to your site today. All right, you guys. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Shopify app store. You're going to come down here to the search bar. And we're just going to type in Sizeify. It is spelled S-I-Z-I-F-Y. And we're going to hit that enter button. Next thing is we're going to scroll down and we are going to select Sizeify AI Clothing Size Guide. And here we're going to find a bunch of great information as far as the app is concerned. I love the fact that they do have their own YouTube channel strictly dedicated to the app, sharing a bunch of information as far as getting started and a bunch of information that is going to help you throughout the process. Like I said earlier, I am going to show you guys how to go through and set anything up. But if you do have any additional questions, feel free to check out their YouTube channel. So scrolling down, we're going to get a bunch of information. We have a full description of the app, how it works, who the app is for, some key benefits, some key features. So definitely feel free to go through and to read through these. Next thing is we have a media gallery that is going to go through and just show us a little bit of how the app is going to look on our perspective websites. So it's going to go through and just give us some visual representations as far as a couple things are concerned. But we are going to go through and just dive right on in. So we're going to scroll all the way back up and we are going to hit add app. I already have the app downloaded so it's going to take me directly to the app here. But if you don't, just hit add app and you want to download it strictly to your store. So this is pretty much the home page of the app. We have the app's name here. We have some setup instructions. So like I said earlier, if you guys have any additional questions or anything, feel free to come here. Um, there are step-by-step -step instructions listed here 
um, to give you guys some additional information. If you do need some additional help, there is a support email right here for you guys to go through and to contact Sizeify directly. Down here, it just says getting started is easy. We're going to be increasing our conversion rates. We're going to decrease the amount of returns. We're going to get clothing size recommendations directly to our customers. So you have two options. You can review the different plans that they have. There are different plans available. Um, so if you wanted to get like a paid plan, you have that option. Or if you wanted to go through and get a, a free plan. So you have some several different options there as far as plans are concerned. So we're going to head back to the dashboard. And we are going to select create size guide. So this is where we are going to create our size guide that is going to give give Sizeify the different recommendations to our customers based off, of the, based off of the items that we have in our inventory. So you can do one of two things here. You can create a general size guide for all of your clothing or you can create size guides for each type of clothing that you offer. So you can have a size guide strictly towards jumpsuits. You can have a size guide strictly towards dresses, tops, bottoms, or however you want to go through and do things. So right here, I have my size guide pulled up. One thing I will say is if you guys are having trouble finding a size guide, I recommend two things, contacting your vendor directly that you shop with most frequently, or you can find a general size guide. So this is a general size guide that I created a while back, and you can definitely go through and use this size guide. Feel free to use this and screenshot it and just kind of go through and make it your own. So we're going to create two different size guides. Um, we're going to create one for tops and dresses, and we're also going to go through and create one for bottoms and skirts. So we're going to start with tops and dresses first. So I'm going to go here to size guide name, and I'm going to type in tops and dresses. Next thing is we're going to select our products. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go to add slash remove products, or you can even do it by collection. So these are two piece sets, so I'm not gonna add them to either category right now. I think I'm gonna go through and just make a general one a little bit later on. So since this is tops and dresses, we're gonna add any all any and all of our tops to this. So we have the embrace top, we have the high living top, and then we also have jumpsuits and gift cards. So we're just gonna add these two for now since I don't have all of my products listed out just yet. We're just gonna hit add. It's gonna add those two products for us right here. And then we have our different size varieties. So we know that this top, these two tops come in sizes small, medium, and large. So we have all of our sizes right here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump back over to our size guide and figure out what dimensions um, our size guide allows us to go through and gives us sizes for. So we have bust, waist, and hips. So we're going to come back to the app and we're going to type in bust, waist, and hips. So chest, waist, hips, boom. Next thing is we're going to come down here and we're going to make sure that we select inches since our um, size guide right here is in inches. We're going to press yes, convert. And then we're going to make this the default size chart. So what this wants us to do is it wants us to input the largest number in the size ranges on the table, not in the range. For example, sizes small ranges for maybe a 32 or 32 inches. Um, the highest that we are going to go through and put is 32. We don't want to put the range. We just want to put the highest number as far as measurements are concerned. So we have small, medium, large. So we're going to come right here. Small, medium, large, right? So we know our bust is anywhere between 33 to 35. So when it comes to chest, we're going to just go through and put 35. For size small, our waist is going to be 27. So we're going to come here and we're going to type in 27. As far as our hips are concerned for a size small, we have 36. So we're going to just go through and type in 36. And we're going to do that so on and so forth for all of the other sizes as well. Size medium, we know our chest is 37. So we're going to go through and put 37. As far as our waist, we know that it is a 29 and then 38. For our hips. And then a size large, we have 39, 31, and 40. Thirty-nine, thirty-one, and a size of forty. 
So boom, that's pretty much it, you guys. As simple and easy as that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit save our size guide. Right here, since my storefront is disabled right now, I can hit yes, enable app, or I can hit do it later. So what this is gonna do is it's not going to allow you to enable the app if your storefront is disabled. You guys know I'm in the process of rebranding right now. So I can hit enable app and it'll go through and enable it on my storefront. Or I can go through and hit disable and it'll kind of go through and take things away. So next thing we're going to go through and we're going to create the same one, but it is going to be for bottoms and skirts. So right here, we're going to say bottoms and skirts. We're going to go right here to select products, at products. We're going to do jeans. We're going to do our jumpsuit. And then we might, I think, Adding two-piece sets is okay to add to skirts and bottoms because I feel like the bottoms um, make a little bit more sense to get the ac more so accurate size for it other than the top. So we're going to go through and hit add. All of our products are going to be right here. We have our different size ranges, small, medium, large. Boom. We're gonna go up to our size guide again so we can figure out what parts of the body we have measurements for. We have measurements for our waist and our hips only. So we are just gonna hit waist and hips, that's it. We have inches and then we can say make it default, make it not default. So we're just gonna go through and select that. So we have small, medium, large, just for waist and hips. So small, right here, we have 27 and 37. So we're gonna set in 27 and 37. As far as the size medium is concerned, we have a 29 and a 40. So we're just gonna type in 29, and then we're also gonna type in 40. And then as far as a size large is concerned, we have the sizes 31 and 42, or measurements rather. rather. 31 and 42, and we're gonna hit save size guide. So we have our two size guys saved. We have one for tops and bottoms, tops and dresses rather, and then we have one for bottoms and skirts. All right, you guys. So once you've gone through and you've downloaded the Sizeify app, you've added in those measurements and you've enabled the app on your Shopify store, this is what your Sizeify widget is going to look like right here. It's going to appear on all of your product pages and it's gonna tailor the size recommendations to best fit each one of your customers. So this is going to upsell, cross-sell, give you some opportunities there. No size charts are needed during this process since you've already gone through and added in all of your measurements um, through the back end of the system. So once you've enabled the widget, you wanna to go to your product pages and it'll say either get size now or it'll even say size guide. So your customer has some different options here once they go through and click it. They can see a size guide or they can even hit proceed if they want to see recommendations based off of their body type. And they can even have options as far as signing in with Google. They can sign in with their email, continue as a guest, or they can sign up with Sizeify. So I love this because no matter what other store your customer goes through and shops with, their recommendations are gonna pop up on other stores as well, not just yours. Any other store also that also uses Sizeify. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna go through and select continue as guest. And it's gonna give our customers some different options. They can go through and hit in a manual entry or they can do their image-based imagery. So what the manual imagery does is if their customer already knows their measurements, they can go through, enter in all of their measurements here, hit submit and it'll go through and give them recommendations. That way they have some different options as far as inches or centimeters, anything like that. Or your customer can do a image-based imagery. Let's say they want to go through and select different photos of themselves to get more of an accurate answer as far as the clothing sizes are concerned. So they can go through, watch this entire video as to how to take the different photos. They can go through and prepare themselves. It's best to wear tighter fitting clothes, best to put your hair up in some type of bun or ponytail. And then you want to go through and get different um, sizes as far as images are concerned. So you wanna make sure that you have nothing distracting in the background, that you have some good lighting. 
and you want to make sure that there's a good amount of distance towards you and the phone that you're taking the picture with and you want to do two different pictures get one of yourself in the front with your arms spread out and then get one from the side with your arms um, nearly down they never store your images but you can go through and hit proceed add in your height hit confirm and then you have the option of just uploading your files and it'll go through and give you size recommendations that way it's just as simple as that you guys so that's pretty much the entire app so once your customer does go through and get their recommendations it'll tell them that sizeify recommends them to get a size medium so on and so forth given their different um, answers and variations as far as their measurements are concerned all right so hopefully this was helpful for you guys definitely go through and add sizeify right now to your shopify website this is definitely going to help you a ton with reducing returns increasing your a and definitely increasing your conversion rates as well you guys sizing matters we all know sizing matters so you want to make sure that you are providing your audience with some amazing tools to make sure that their checkout experience is seamless okay so i'll see you guys in the next video peace